Good evening, everybody. It is the Dark Comic Nerd. And if you are into celebrating Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day to you, everybody. Uh, I am not in a relationship with anybody special at all. So Valentine's Day is just another day uh, that I skip over, much like a lot of other holidays that are generally specific to a certain group of people, uh, like Martin Luther King Jr. Day, or uh, Valentine's Day, or uh, even Easter. Easter is a little bit more up my alley, because being a Christian, um, you know, I like to celebrate Easter, uh, and I celebrate it the right way, at least in my opinion, um, where it's not about chasing after Easter eggs and looking for them, which is a neat little novel idea for the kids, but it's really about for me and most of the people I know, resurrection of Jesus from the dead three days after his crucifixion. So um, I thought about doing this tonight, guys, because frankly, I want to keep the streak alive of uh, what we've been doing. So tonight is going to be a combination of vintage time only because, and I'll show you guys why, this sucker here, and sorry about the glare, guys, it's the best I could do. Because uh, I really want you to be able to see this in all its glory. And I'm doing this in 60 frames per second, everybody. But the um, the uh, date for this, guys, is 2004, which puts it at 20 years old. So it is kind of vintage, but it's it, in the same time as still a nerd showcase, guys. So it kind of is in the middle of everything. It depends on how you... I think of vintage sometimes... Um, when I'm really doing vintage time stuff, guys, as the really old Transformers from back in the 80s. But this is old by the standard, guys. And I can even show you more so how it's old because um, if we zoom in, guys, I mean, look at some of this stuff here. Win a trip to space camp. Do they even do those anymore? And look at that label, guys. They got this for a steal at 1188. It was on clearance. And I believe... If I remember correctly, I might have gotten this at a service merchandise that was still available. I bet a lot of you don't even know about that place, uh, along with Bradley's and a couple other stores, which I couldn't be sure. Um, to be honest, that label, that particular sticker is used by a couple um, different places, I think sort of still like Target and stuff. But I definitely know this is so old I didn't get it from a Target. No, 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 no. Um, I also wanted to do the video tonight, guys, to talk about the fact that recently, uh, during the 8K trial I was doing, if you guys know, I was doing an 8K video just to see how it would uh, shape up as far as the size and the quality, which I still have yet to check it out on my 4K TV. I got to do that sometime. Um, but it was a couple of things I wanted to check out. So I did a video on some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And... Uh, gentlemen, I believe it was a gentleman. I don't honestly know. It's very hard to tell um, uh, pronouns or whatever you want to say, Mr. Mrs., male, female, whatever the case is nowadays. Um, it's difficult, but I'm going to assume it was a gentleman. And uh, the name is Techno Fox, I believe. And they came up and said that, uh, that I took too much time uh ranting at the beginning of the uh, card opening and that that wasn't good for them and I'm paraphrasing here because you guys can go in the comment section of that particular video and check it out yourself and that they were leaving now whether that means that they stopped being a subscriber or whether that just means they didn't want to stick around for that particular video that's okay I just want to tell everybody that is your choice I just want to spe specify a few things though real quick guys one Leave comments of any sort, any time. If you make them obvious that they're you know, like death threats or something like that, I will report you. That's just the common sense thing to do. But if you're leaving general criticism like Tetnofox did, which I hope I got that name right. I looked at it very briefly. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Critiquing is part of being a good YouTube uh, creator. We need to be able to take their critiquing, and it's not always where you like, oh, that guy's a troll, and blah, 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 and you strike back. No, no. I gave an honest and very Christian-like response of saying, yes, I ranted for four minutes, and um, I uh, appreciated the critique that I got from this individual, um, but I also specified that I've seen other videos from other YouTubers where... It takes them longer sometimes. And you can ask my good friend, um, Brother Hamill, and he'll tell you. He watches videos all the time. He sits around and watches YouTube videos all the time and stuff. And some people blither on when they're commentary and stuff before they show you what. So you're like fast forwarding 
to get to where you want to get to and see it. Heck, I sometimes watch the quartering and he takes forever going through all the video sponsors and all the other stuff before you really know what you're, what you're getting into. So it's not just me. Does that justify um, the what I decide to do? No, but if you guys have watched me for any particular period of time, you know that this is the way I do things. This is my personality type for my videos. And I want to point out that the same time that this individual was upset with me about how I did my video, I gained three new subscribers. Three! At the same time, they were like, see you. So, I don't know. if it's. But if it's not your taste about what I talk about and and how I... You know, not the, the not like this, guys, when I say what I talk about, but the stuff I talk about in between, the stuff I talk about at the end, you are more than, you you know, I want to say, yeah, free to, you are more than free to go check out another YouTuber and watch what makes you happy. Go ahead. It doesn't hurt my feelings. And neither does your criticism. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm a big boy. And the thing is, is that, you know what? We're going to try to shape up and do things a little differently here. Now, does that mean we're going to change everything and there there might be a video, there might not be as many videos where I um, talk about whatever is on my mind for the first few minutes, but it might still happen. It probably still will. Why? Because if you've been coming to my channel for any length of time, you know this is exactly the way I do things. And sure, I don't have a truckload of subscribers, but I have over 300 and considering that not too long ago my channel had less than 100, there you go. Which means, uh, you know what guys, most of the time I don't get subscribers coming back and watching stuff. It's always new people. Which means, guess what? Um, if people don't want to come back and see this, but they want to leave their subscription, that's fine. And I have no problem with that. But generally speaking... When I do those videos, I specify a lot of times with my cod hunt of videos that most people don't watch them. They're not their cup of tea, which means I tend to do whatever I want during those videos because most people aren't watching them. So I'm sorry if that the way I the style of the way I do certain videos is offensive to some people. I'm telling you right now, feel free to leave comments. We ought to give this person credit because at least they left a comment. Most of you don't even leave a comment. Um, and at the same time, it actually goes in the pool of, hey, at least somebody's telling me something that um, they don't like so that I can maybe do things a little better. I encourage you at all times, people, to tell me what you do like and what you would like to see more often, and nobody does it. So, eh, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's like it's like most people usually keep their mouth shut and don't tell me what they want to see. So, I can't always fix everything if you don't tell me what's broken, folks. So, this person, let's give them a credit. Let's give them credit where credit is due. Uh, I don't think they meant to be nasty about it. But if they were in here just trolling me, um, hey, you actually did something that is worthwhile, even if you meant it to be mean. So credit where credit is due. And uh, the thing is, guys, is we'll do what we can from here on out. But we'll just see where things go. And uh, I can't guarantee you what's going to happen, guys. Um, I can only tell you that, hey, um... People come and watch my videos. Um, that's what it is. I'm not monetized. I'm, so I'm not here to make money, folks. I'm here to entertain. And the thing is, is that if I'm entertaining at least even one person, that means I'm doing my job, guys. And by that, I mean I'm doing something I like doing. So, But I just want to point that out, guys, because I'd like to acknowledge that person because I'd like to encourage more of you to, if there's something that you would like to see changed, Say something. And we should also not um, think less of this person because the fact of the matter is, guys, is that this is a positive thing for YouTube creators. It's good to hear from the audience and know what things might be able to be changed. But in the meantime, we'll just see how things go. I can't guarantee nothing, guys. So in the meantime, guys, this is part of the Transformers universe, guys. If most of you don't know, Many, many years back, in this case about two decades back, Transformers decided that there was a point in time where they were just going to do Transformers Universe. It's basically similar to what you see with the legacy stuff we're getting nowadays, where they just took a whole bunch of old stuff and said, we're going to continue the Transformers line, but with no...
specific direction. We're just going to take a whole bunch of characters and do repaints and do other things. And this is one of the ones, guys, that got a repaint. So what we have here is Long Hall and High Tower, which, if I remember correctly, are original names from um, some of the 80s. Transformer series. I was going to say for a second that I believe they were from the original Constructicons, which is what the color scheme here is, guys. It's it's the Constructicons, um, hence the big Decepticon symbol here. I don't remember if those were actual names, though. I'm thinking they were some names that might have been similar, but I would have to look them up to see if they're actually were names um, of if they were names of Constructicons, because sometimes what a lot of this is about, guys, is name rights. They need to keep trademark. And I want to show you guys even more so how you can prove that. Now, they're going to put this anyway on everything. But they really make sure to nail it home. And that's because that's a lot of what these things are about, guys. Plus, getting a little bit more money because these are recoloring, guys. And I'll show you what they're recoloring of. If you guys look, this is a recolor in the Decepticon Constructicon line hence where it says Constructicon and it says Devastator, they based these on the Autobot ones that were from the Robots in Disguise guys, and the thing is is that Robots in Disguise is not the newer one it's the one from many many years ago that was brought over from Japan, it was a more anime style one guys, and they had some um, very different Autobots and Decepticons in that one, where it was Autobots that uh, like they had one that was uh, three bullet trains that combined together. And they had this particular uh, set of Autobots guys that actually, I think, well, I don't know if they actually shared the same name. They might have. Because a lot of times, guys, like I said, trying to keep the trademark on the names. But they're also trying to make money on probably molds that they had that they said, hey, we could make a little bit more money if we take the same molds that we use for the Autobots and just recolor them to look like the Constructicons. Because the real Constructicon team, guys, I think was made up of five Decepticons. It could have been six, but I believe it was five. Um, I believe the names of Scavenger and Bone Crusher, I'm sure, were right. And I think they were actually... Because I had Scavenger. It was one of the original Transformers I bought myself. So the other ones probably are right, guys. I just want to point that out. I believe... Mixmaster is the only one that's missing here. And most likely it's because there is no cement mixer here. So I believe that's the only one missing. But the Autobot team, guys, I don't recall what the Autobot team was, but this is what they're based on. The molds for these particular Transformers are based on the same molds that used for the Autobot team in the original Robots in Disguise, which was way, 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 way back in the day. Um, let me see if I can actually find guys real quick. Um, we're doing this in 60 frames per second, guys, by the way. Um, I wanted a little better resolution quality for this, but, um, I don't think it'll matter too much if, um, oh, and, uh, I guess, uh, Brother Hamill's heading to church tonight. His wife and him are feeling up for going to church. Good for them. Um, okay, guys, so let me see. Yeah, 2001 series, guys. That's when it came out. And we want... Okay, so who were the combiners? It was... Okay, so the original Autobots, guys. I'm going to go over this one at a time if I can. Ha! The place I'm looking at the information from is actually from a place called Dallage Vintage Toys. So, yeah, I guess there you go. But that was the original ones, guys, that were the Autobot team. Not this one that we're looking at that was Transformers Universe that they put out later on. Like I said, to make money, something else they could have in the lineup to try to get, win people to buy these Transformer Universe figures, which I have quite a few of them. Um, and at the same time, um, they get to keep name recognition, guys. So, originally, that one was Grimlock. This one was Heavy Load. This actually kept the same name. That's what got me confused. Hightower. And then this one over here was... Gr uh, okay, so Grimlock, Heavy Load, Wedge, Hightower. And like I said, guys, we're, mix we're m missing a cement mixer, which would have made Mixmaster for the Constructicon lineup here we have, guys. And I'm 
I'm trying to find out what they are actually called, guys. Uh, I know that the super robot here, which this is Devastator, was called Landfill, by the way, guys. I just can't find out what the team was. I was hoping to actually find out what the name of the team was. Believe it or not, I can't find it. Let me check one more thing, guys. I'm actually checking the TransformersWiki.net right now. Build Team. That's why I couldn't remember, guys. It's the Build Team. Okay, so there we go, guys. That is the name that they had for them. I could not remember that. Saved my life. So there we go, guys. That is what the original molds here that they used. So they used a mold for all those characters. They recolored them to look like the original colors of the Constructicons from the 80s. And then they gave it the closest thing they could, considering there was no Mix Master, and they actually put it as Devastator. Now, here's the other thing, guys. I want you to see that this came as a double pack. It came with Long Haul and High Tower. I'm pretty sure if I... I could be wrong. There probably was another double pack that had the other two, but I don't think I ever recall it. And I don't know why I particularly picked this particular one except i would imagine it was because of the price 1188 back in the day was was pretty cheap guys even by nowadays standard would be pretty cheap but just to show everybody some of the other stuff on the box here we just have them on this side guys in their uh excuse me guys gas bubble um in their vehicle form and then if we flip it around we have everybody in their robot form guys which considering that we won't be seeing them in their robot form uh it's definitely good to give you guys a look at what they're looking like in their robot form which i think they did a good job remaking these to look like decepticons they did a good job on that and i love the constructicons guys i'm pretty sure i have um recolors of all of them um meaning all five of them uh, that combined together to make uh, a devastator like knockoff um and at the same time as far as the originals if i look through my original toys i probably have everything though i don't know if i could ever find everything because in the good old days guys you actually got separate pieces that actually would form the fist and uh the feet and all the stuff for the combiner series and what you would do is you'd have to either put them off to the side while you were playing with them or what would happen is is that you would actually be able to turn some of them into uh, weapons or vehicle parts that would actually go on the thing. So, for example, um, I remember that we'll use the one on the back, guys. Bone Crusher here had a had a piece that was a weapon here that had a drill on it that went on the front. Now, what you could do is you could take it on and off. It didn't have to stay there all the time. And the idea was, is as Bone Crusher was going along, he would have like a drill on there along with his bulldozer so he could actually drill tunnels. Now, the weapon also, guys, had a little push button or push tab thing on the top so you could actually fire the drill out. Well, if I remember correctly, later on, you could actually use that same thing and you could put it basically what would be the rough equivalent of here, guys, on the hand. And you actually, instead of the drill piece, you actually snapped in a fist. And it actually snapped into the weapon. So that way, when you had Devastator, and like I said, we're going to use this as an example, roughly equivalent, guys, to when the hand was here, it would fire the fist out, and you could actually fire it at people as like a, as a weapon off the thing. And it was really cool. And at least by the standards of back in the 80s. Nowadays, if you look at this, the parts that make up its hands, guys, they're part of the actual robot itself. So... If you look at it, I'm trying to eliminate glare, guys, so I'm moving it in weird positions. But all of these are actually parts. So the, the hand here is actually the back of, of Hightower's dump hauler here. So the thing is, guys, is that that's how they do it nowadays. In the old days, you actually had pieces that came with them in the packaging. And you had to put them off to the side and keep track of them. So the reason I mentioned this is because it was pretty easy to lose all that stuff especially when you had as many transformers as i did so to find the original stuff guys i'd be hard pressed but to find the robots might not be so hard just to find the pieces that you would snap in for the legs or excuse me not the legs but the actual feet and the 
uh, fists and the um, parts that were made up the original Devastator's arms, or a good majority of the end of his arms, I should say, because he still had arms, but a lot of times what they would do is they would give you the, the weapons that fired stuff, and you would actually snap them in a particular place, and they would make up the rest of the arm. And then, like I said, you would put the fist actually in the launcher slot. And like I said, you could actually fire the fist off. And it was it was cool for the day, okay? Take my word on it. It was cool for the day. And that was, like I said, guys, that's a good, you know, 30-plus years ago, back when I was growing up. And it's, like, it's changed a lot. It's definitely changed a lot. But you know what, guys? This thing is just 20 years old. It's not even modern, but it's still part, of, like I said, the Transformers Universe line, guys, which, like I said, served a purpose of keeping legacy characters alive in everybody's mind so that they would continue to keep buying Transformers. Uh, hence the reason why they went back to, a, like I said, guys, 2004, but they went to a retro style of something that they knew people really liked all the way back in the 80s. So it was kind of like the beginning stages of nostalgia bait for people. And heck, I bought it. So there you go. But like I said, I also got a cheap deal on it. So there you go on that, guys. And uh, in case we didn't look, like I said, guys, we, we did see some other parts where they actually showed you the artwork for the robots. But just to show you guys, here's some on the top. And I don't know if we can really see. Yeah, we can see a little bit more in there, guys, just to show you um, a little bit more of the cab of the vehicle in there. And anything else that you couldn't see, like, there's the, I think there's the part of his hook. Yeah, his, his hook. So, just to show you a little bit more, guys, because we should show you from every angle possible when we're doing these videos. But, yeah, it was so much different, guys, back in the day. It really was. And this thing, like I said, guys, keeps name recognition for characters so that they keep the trademark on them. It keeps everybody thinking about Transformers, which, hey, look how long Transformers has gone for. So you can tell it worked. And the roughest equivalent, guys, would be the legacy stuff nowadays, which is doing the same exact thing, though they are having a harder time because they've lost some of the trademarks on a lot of stuff. So you don't always see the same name. A good example of that, guys, would be um, from the Dinobots. Um, they had to rename one of them... Um, though I think that wasn't so much they lost the trademark so much as there was some controversy his name. I think one of them had to be renamed from like Slag to what was it? Oh crap. Now I can't remember what it was, but I do remember the original name and they had to change it. But sometimes they just lose them. So for example, we had Shockwave. Sometimes they'll lose it for a time for the trademark. Um, and they'll go to like Shock Blast. So certain things. When you see names change, a lot of times it's usually because of trademark problems, guys. So a lot of these were meant every so often to be fillers in between other TV shows and stuff. And um, at the same time, it was meant to do a lot of other things to keep the Transformers brand alive, guys, basically. So, but yeah, that's pretty much the nuts and bolts, guys. No offense, considering the Transformers. <laughs> yeah, pun intended. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's the nuts and bolts of that, guys. So, like I said, this is a kind of cross between vintage time, considering that these are exactly 20 years old. Uh, but at the same time, it is kind of a Transformers nerd showcase, guys. I'm trying to go through a lot of these, um, just, how should I say, oddball boxed, transformers that are just kicking around my place and making sure that slowly but steadily as i do nerd showcases on them and stuff guys they go into the collectibles room where they will be put on display shelves and such but uh that's it for tonight guys i do thank you for taking your time to watch my videos and well excuse me uh dinner was good tonight guys um thank you also for um i hope i got the name right techno fox and any of you others out there who want to leave comments, just remember, guys, in my book over here, especially being a Christian, um, like I said, as long as you're not violating YouTube policy, there are no bad comments, especially when you want to critique. So if you ever want to say something that you, because um, I, I, I just got the impression that they were trying to be like, well, I didn't like your video because you ranted for four minutes and didn't show what I wanted to. And instead of hitting the fast forward button and just going to it, I'm sure they didn't know how many minutes I was going to go talking. So they didn't want to fast forward. They just wanted to watch the video. And I'm sure after a certain time they got irritated. Now, the funny thing is, though, is I just want to point out to anybody, because I don't know if this particular person was a creator too, but just keep in mind that 
when you do that stuff, and I'm not pointing at Techno Fox, I'm pointing at other people in particular, guys. Anybody that wants to come in and comment, just make sure. There's an old expression about when you point one finger at somebody, there's always three more at least. It, sometimes if people count the thumb, four pointing back at you. I go with, when you point a finger, boom, there's the, you can see below my thumb, the three that are pointing back. So keep in mind, guys, that when you point the finger at somebody, if you are just as bad in your videos, don't, there's another expression, don't throw rocks in glass houses. Um, you know what, guys? It's like, there's a lot of expressions that just mean basically, if you're going to point out other people's flaws, guys, in, in this particular scenario, in making videos, make sure you're not doing the same thing yourself because some people aren't going to be like me and they might go to your YouTube site and then be like, oh, this person does the same thing as me. I'm going to blast them in the comments. Don't, don't do that, guys. Um, but just let's be courteous to everybody. Um, respect that this individual had a comment. Um, respect that they didn't like my video the way I made it. Um, and hopefully they respect the fact that at the same time, I want to point out three new subscribers when that was going on. So all I can say is different tastes for different folks. There you go. As sometimes they say it a different way, but considering it's Valentine's Day, I don't want to be people to infer something differently from that. So let's not say that particular expression. But there's one that rhymes a little better and we won't say it. Um, but I do want to appreciate all of you guys, especially those that leave comments. Thank you, whether they're negative or otherwise. Like I said, if you keep it tasteful and respectful like this person did, I have no problem with you. And I actually will do my best to accommodate and make things a little better. So, but thank you guys so much for taking your time, like I said, to watch this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Um, you know what, guys? Um, I got to tell you, I've been on other videos where people do uh, the same thing I did, where it seems like they don't get to the main topic matter in a timely manner, or it seems like it was clickbaiting or something like that, and I've hit the thumbs down. If that is your prerogative, I don't blame you. I just appreciate those that do hit thumbs up and leave whatever comment you like, guys. Like I said, as long as it's respectful and tasteful, be my guest. And this day and age, we should at least give um, Fox credit because he was very succinct, meaning he got to the point said exactly what he wanted to and didn't have to put a whole bunch of vulgarity into it so we should give them credit for that definitely and like i said guys i'd love to hear comments from the rest of you and thumbs up subscribe whatever is makes you happy guys i'm not going to beg for them but i appreciate them nonetheless and i want to make sure you guys all know that in the meantime this has been the dark comic nerd no big bible message tonight guys i think i uh had a different message tonight of just uh, uh what is it civility or another way of putting it guys would be let's be um courteous to each other and let's respect everybody and also guys that you know what um in my book you can say something negative and i still respect you tomorrow guys because the thing is is that hey sometimes it's how it comes across you can put a negative comment and still be a nice person guys while you're doing it and the thing is i think this person accomplished it whether they meant to or not doesn't matter. They accomplished it nonetheless. And I hope that you guys would all learn a good lesson from this. Not necessarily that you go around putting negative comments on everybody's YouTube videos, but that you are allowed guys to have opinions and that you are free to go and see whoever's YouTube video you want. And the thing is, guys, is you know what? That's what makes YouTube nice, guys, is that if we do it right, we can enjoy ourselves and be respectful to each other and all grow and learn. And the thing is, is that, you know what, guys, I think in the grand scheme of things, that brings us all together. And in this day and age, I think that's really important. And I want to make sure that that's the message you guys get out of tonight. This has been the Dark Comic Nerd. I hope that you guys have a great Wednesday evening. And we will see you again, I guess, when we see you.